Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. I share all my paintings with you on YouTube and on our website, dianeanton.com, you can find free downloadable sketches for all the videos to help you make the most of your painting journey. And if you'd like a little bit more, we also have channel memberships with loads of perks for you to enjoy. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. Hi everybody, just a quickie today. Um, it's Tuesday, it's wild and woolly day out there today. And um, I am going to just do a couple of whimsical birds. Um, when I was in England earlier on in the year, I did these ones here. And I'm going to show you, I think, hopefully, more or less, how I did those. I'll try and keep it quick because, uh, you know, uh, it's lunchtime, basically. So, Right, let's do blue, shall we? Um, this is, I'm using the Kuretake set here. I'll move that blue over there a little bit. And uh, let's see, let's see, what did I do? I had a blue, I had blue. So let's start with, and the way I do these whimsical birds is, it's actually um, quite scary in a way because I never know what's gonna happen, but I just start. So I put some turquoise in there too, and then let's bring his tail up there. I'll go back and look at what I did. And a little bit more blue here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to let that run a little bit. That's bird number one. And bird number two was a kind of robin. So we gave him a bit of a pink breast like that. And then he had darker red, darker red, sort of purpley wings. And then number three was green in the middle, greenish. And then sort of rusty brown on the outside. So his tail comes up here like that. His head's over here. Purple is too purple. You can always lift off the colour if you want. If you're not happy with it. Can you hear my dog snoring in the background? Mm. And then I think time for the legs in a second. So we just, let me see what colour have I got here. I'm sort of, there we go, nice brownish colour there. And here too. It's different when you put it on top of another colour. And then we want a sort of greeny blue on the back here. And he's going to have a little beak up here. Okay, so then we need to do the legs. I'm going to sit down. Birds always have fairly long legs. They don't always sit up on their legs, but they um, they tend to be... Ooh, what have I done there? That would be good for doing eyes and things. Anyway, putting his fingernails. Uh, okay. Just let the serendipity take over. Never try, she said, telling herself, never try to copy something you've already done. Because it won't work. 
It's always going to be a little bit different. So what I did before, I will use the same technique. What I did before was I used my uh, This is a um, Stettler um, Carat Aquarelle brush, uh, pencil. Let's see, what did we do for his beak? He had a little beak like that. And then the eyes, very close together. The reason I wanted to do this again was because I did it while I was in England on holiday and um, didn't film myself doing it. Where's his beak going to be? His beak's going to be either up there or down here, I think. If we put it there, he looks as if he's a little bit concerned. This is Derwent Aquarelle watercolour pencil, and I like to use them really loosely. When it hits damp paper, it really shows up very well, so suits my sketchy personality. Okay, now having got to that point, we're going to want... Ooh, I don't know why the black is so very intense. Just put a little bit more brown on the back of this one, I think. And maybe this one too. Too bright, too dark. He needs a red chest, doesn't he? Okay, drying time. So now they're dry and we're going to do the embellishment. So first thing really is to do some white around the eyes. Like that. And um, oh, I think So, okay, so what we're going to do with our white pen, usually when you see these, um, what would you call them, um, whimsical birds, the embellishments are um, in black, but I quite like to do the outside line, so the outside shape in a sketchy sort of black, and then the actual squirrels and things in white. You can do whatever you like. Though, as long as you don't try too hard to do it perfectly. Okay, and then this one. What shall we do? What did I do before?
The weather's gone terrible. And you can hear the rain, I think. Everybody gets very... Um, all the dogs, the cats, everybody gets a little bit weird when it rains like this. Very windy. I'm sure you have the same thing where you are. And they all start behaving very strangely. So there we are, there's... That one, and then this one. Now we have to wait to the end of this one for the surprise ending. Here comes Arthur rushing in out of the rain. He blames us. I think he thinks we do it to him on purpose. A little bit more ink there than this is willing to give up. There we go. Okay, I think. Probably we'll leave this one like that. And then finally, the last thing I'm going to do is just as a sort of little nod to Christmas, because it's coming, isn't it, soon? We will give them a crown. Three gold crowns, and when that's dry, we'll be able to put some jewels on. Maybe just pick up some nice rubies and sapphires. the crowns. Okie dokie, so we just give them a little bit of something to stand on. And I think we're done. Three wise birds. So I'll let you go. I'm going to see if I can grab a lunch between the raindrops and I'll see you again soon. Bye everybody.